heads. Oh, there's two of them. One's heads, one's tails. Which one are they going by? And welcome everyone to the UFL Season 2 Week 3. So tonight... I will be your host, Mr. Ricky Bobby, along with my co-host, Eric Nubolo. How are you today, Eric? Not too bad, just hang. Pretty good, pretty excited about this upcoming game. We got the Bulldogs against the Titans. Always good when we got some Saturday Night Football off. Not sure, uh, I assume the Titans win toss heads, I don't know who called heads. The Titans are the home team, so the Bucks might have lost it. Usually, whoever wins. Yeah. Then, then again, it depends really on your, you know, on your game plan. It could switch it up, but I must admit that if I were on Titans, I'd probably do the same in order to get a quick stop on defense, you know, and show them how the game is going to be played out. But before we go, let's start off with two of our sponsors. So the first one would be Love to Decorate. It is a bi-monthly home and garden magazine, a monthly event, and of course, the LTD website where you can get all the information relating to home and garden. We are the number one resource for home and garden. We showcase all the amazing home and garden talents such as designers, photographers, and stylists. Love to Decorate is an AV Choice winner for the best home and garden website. That is Love to Decorate. While we're at it, we'll tell you about vinyl. Vinyl is inspired by a messy combination of hipster, classic rock, and whimsical imaginings. A dash of geek mixed in. You will find high-quality, 100% handmade original mesh clothing and accessories for women, men, and unisex. We're about three minutes from kickoff. Uh, yep. Rhino, Bizarrely, and Caden Pierce back. Jinx is the middle. Bert, Joseph, Ethan, Ace, and Ryrie up on the front. Is it Ryrie or Ryrie? I, <laughs> I think always... it is Ryrie. I, would yeah, go I, think, with Ryrie. I, th I think it's Ryrie, but I don't, I don't know. Ryrie? No. <laughs> Ryrie. <Rai. laughs> well, could be. And um, as you said, in the backfield, we have there the new addition for the Bulldog who really stepped it up uh, last game, which is bizarrely. He was from formerly from the Patriots, moved on to the Bulldogs, and last game against the Cobras, he was uh, quite a... Quite on fire, I could say. I think, he, I think he got player of the game that game, didn't he? First game with the Bulldogs. Honestly, I don't know, but it wouldn't really surprise me considering, you know, the performance he put out there in that game. I'd have to go back and look. Pretty sure. And for the Titans, I think, you know, it's the usual same people that they've they've had for a bit they've added new players but mostly the main core is staying the same with pit boss enric rayon ray robert Dwayne viper now they have troy which is the new addition i guess for this year which is the the qb their biggest addition i'd say yeah they're they're a dangerous team because no matter who they put in the backfield you never know who's going to run it or throw up because they got about five or six people on that team that can throw the ball as well as run it so I agree, and that's why Careful the two running that. back scheme has been working for them because they can put two running backs that are actually pretty decent quarterbacks as well. So you never know, even if it's a handoff or even a double handoff, can throw you out and then just become a pass at any moment. So I must agree that's a very handy tool to have a lot of people who can throw in a in a single team. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think there's a couple people on that team that have been quarterbacks in one twenty. As Gunny has Troy and Pit Boss have all been. Yep. Oh, and Ray Robert, too, for Kip Robert out there. <laughs> I, th I don't think he enjoy, he, enjoy, he doesn't enjoy playing quarterback as much as he does. At least thinks so. remember him saying last year that that was his last season as a Time to time you'll see him throw, throw the rock around the yard a little bit. Yep, we'll see about that. So we're about to see a kickoff soon as 7 p.m. hits. So what would be your um, your ending score prediction uh, on this, Eric? I don't want to get my head ripped off but by uh, calling out a score, but I think the Titans will win. 
Okay. Strongly uh, or poorly or like on the edge? Or... I think it'll be, I think if the Bulldogs can keep it on the ground and play the time of possession game that the Titans usually play, I think they can keep it close. But ultimately, I think the, uh, the experience, uh, because the most of these Titans have been together for quite a, quite a while, a couple years mm -hmm. at least. I agree. That'll, I think that'll play into their Balls in play. Now we have Nephilim for the kick, a.k.a. Gunny Rose. Which is wearing pink, so the name. Pink Panther tonight. <laughs> Dog. The, high... the deep kick to the right. And it's gonna be a touchback. Well, a decent kick there. Not exactly the way you would want to start if you're the Bulldogs, but then again. Doesn't mean they can't go all the way into that drive and put some points on the board. In sticking with the shotgun, Ryrie loves her running back, so we'll see. Darley lined up to the right, and Rhino and Joseph out to the left. Yep. Ace, Ethan, and Bert on the line. What Kay can come up with. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a handoff right here to Ryrie to start the game. And it's a fake handoff, actually. He has kept it and she's running. Ow. Ooh. I thought she was going to break out of that one there. She stumbled a, a little bit one. and uh, had a hole there, but the Titans were able to close it up real quick. Okay, still a gain of two. At least you don't, you know, you're not falling back. Yeah, she almost broke out of that stumble. Now going with the bunch formation on the left. He snaps it, rolls left. If she has anyone open, there's some pressure up in her face. She throws it to the mi middle hash mark. Oh, and it was caught by Rhino. There you go. Yeah, she had yards. about she had about three. She left. had the numbers game playing in the middle. She had about three receivers there against one or two Titans. So numbers were definitely it, in her favor left. going there. If she has anyone yep, good open. pass, effective first down. There's some pressure. The chains. What they got to focus on. Down set. Lee, but surely. He snaps the ball, rolls left, starts running, gets a few blocks, and gets up with a game That's a nice of nine. Cut. Very good cut. Looked nice like they were gonna cut, looked like they were gonna cut her off, and she just cut back and. Uh... Yep, her defenders did the right job. Stepped up in front of them. He snaps the ball, rolls right this time, gets a block, has some room, but it closes Receiver. quickly. She goes for right on the left. Oh, she goes a little deep. bit deeper. I think it was intended for uh, Ryrie. Yeah, I but... think it was Ryrie out there. It looks like all the uh, right above. Uh, Bulldogs receivers are actually wearing different color uh, leaves there. Maybe helps uh, tell the difference. At least Rhino and uh, Ryrie are wearing... Yep. Yellow and green. Maybe it does, but on the right side you have two pink sleeves, so maybe that doesn't help too much if that's the point of the colors. But... Well, you can tell you can tell Jigs because she's got the uh, oh rolls rainbow right, socks. right, but then goes left, looking for blocks to go up, but doesn't get him. Oh, now she's falling back and she gets sacked for a loss of 16 yards. Good play there on Enric, and also the other I think linebacker was right up, right there. The... Yeah, that's not that's not what you wanted to do on uh, third down and one. Try to sneak it through first down at least. Fifteen, sixteen yards. Now you gotta got a punt. It don't want to give. Yep, it is a punt caught by Troy in the backfield, making his way to the forty-five. Gets a block, moves to the fifty. Bulldog territory now. Good punt return there. Excellent starting field position for. Them. Yep, that's that's what I that's what I thought they'd want to do. You know, get a stop early in the bulldog zone and then have it in good field position. See what they do. Yeah, Troy there. Quarterback snaps it, rolls left. Oh, Rhino's trying to close the gap. Short pass to the middle. Good catch. Pick up of eleven yards. Such as a first down. Good job by the uh, Bulldogs to keep that play in front of them and not uh, not let them get it for pretty wide open there. They merged on that real quick. 
Papa before he turned it upfield and got a Pressure on the line was good though. Seven. Troy didn't have, you know, all day to throw, so that's gonna be a good thing if but now this time he gets all the blocks he needs to make a deep pass and Ray Robert caught the ball and I think he got rid of it by accident or something. Because uh, he yeah. passed the ball. <laughs> I, think that, I don't know how they're gonna rule that one. I guess it'd be an I don't I must admit I'm curious to see how the refs are gonna handle looks that like, one because looks he like caught it gonna, and then he threw it by accident, I guess. Just gonna consider that a a loss of down. <laughs> incomplete pass, I assume. That's how they're doing it. Yep. I think Ray was in mouse look and he just accidentally clicked. Probably. It was a great play, though. He had two players there, wide open. Oh, flag on uh, the play. I guess I guess they don't get away with it <laughs> so easily. <laughs> might be it might be a penalty, maybe. I have no idea. That's why I don't ref. <laughs> <laughs> Illegal forward pass. Yeah, that would make sense. Even though he was kind of passing behind him because when when he caught it he was you know looking at his quarterback and then when he passed it i think he passed it backwards so i don't know if that's a really a front pass but but we'll technically wouldn't that, wouldn't that be a like a uh, lateral then it would hit the ground and technically it would be a fumble something like that but i don't know but the the fields because when he caught it he literally he wasn't he was facing the quarterback so when he threw it he threw it you know in the yeah, and the, the he back threw it direction. back. Yeah, but anyways, five yard penalty. Where to go with that? Automatic what? Just you know, some people <laughs> like standard cars. Some people like automatic, man. Like automatic what? <laughs> Third down. I guess they lose downs on that too. Five yards and lost it down. With no just... future reference. Don't throw the ball after you catch it. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, just silly mistakes that can happen to anyone, really. Yeah, when you're a mouse looking, especially when you're used to being quarterback, you just kind of... Trigger happens. Look yes. it, yeah. Troy snaps, rolls right. Play a three-man rush. To get a block. And deep that's to the deep left. Open. If, it's, if that's caught, it's going to be... Oh, was that out of bounds? Out of bounds. He caught it, but he went out of bounds at the one instead of in the end zone. Curious to see if he caught it out of bounds, though. It was very close. He was, like, near the pylon. I'm curious to see if the referee is going to review that. Yeah, it looked like he caught it inbounds and just stepped out. It just stepped out? Of... Yeah. Maybe wiggled out. Moment his momentum just took him out. Well, first and one, so... If they just try to... Oh, play is under review. It was a close one. I'm telling you. Maybe, because... Maybe, they oh, they might be see. looking to see if he went up before he caught Ooh, it. Oh, that was... It's going to be close. Caught it. And then he, it's kind of the post. I don't know. Maybe they're reviewing to see if he went out before he caught it because he was real close to that sideline. Yeah, I, well, I think he didn't have both feet inside. That's what I think personally. But the angle isn't exactly decisive. But I think he had at least one feet gotta, onto gotta, the white line when he caught it. But you know, gotta drag those toes, teams. All right. It's a good, that was that was a good that pass, was kind of it's nicely thrown. I must admit, and oh, yeah. it's so close. I think yeah, he was wide open. There was there was wide some open. blown coverage back there deep that let him that wide open. I think K was worried more about the deep middle and balls uh, in place. So I guess they teams. ruled that he he caught it inside and then ran outside. Troy snaps the ball, rolls right, looks for a receiver, and then just runs it in as he has room. He had a he had a wall of blockers in front of him. Yeah. And no I problems think they were, that in. they were playing the Bulldogs on the pass so much that they never even thought he was going to run at some point. So that's going to be 7-0 to zero pending the extra kick. So 7-0 quick start by Titans, but Bulldog can quickly just do the same, put some points on the board and even the score out. And then yeah, this... it's back to 0-0. Zero, zero. This will be one of the most important drives for the Bulldogs to show that they can get down the field and score because if they don't and they turn it back over to the Titans, uh, they haven't shown that they're able to stop the Titans yet, so they're uh, yeah. possibly go down 14 nothing. You never want to get back by... And it's going to be a deep kick again by Nephilim, but it's caught this time. Hey, running it. Trying to get some blocks. There we go. Return at the 25-yard line. This is better than what they got. 
He had a decent For hole sure. there, but the uh, Titans did a good job of closing it up real Shows their experience in the communication, the fact that, you know, they, they know exactly what position everyone has to hold. They're just forming that line, blocking everyone. Let's see what they come up with with the trips left with Rhino, Joseph, and Ryrie. Okay, snaps, falls back, goes to the left, is being faced by a Titans, and is oh. stacked for a loss of 10. She, was, she made a nice move to get around one of them and then ran right right into Enric there. Yeah. She was, well, they were doing a good job at boxing her in, honestly. Yep, she she made a move, I think, around uh, Rayon or Troy and... Uh... So now it's going to be second and 20. Okay, snaps the ball, rolls right. You have an open receiver. She's looking. She looks coverage looks pretty good. Uh oh, she's now in the her end zone. She needs to get out of there. And it's gonna be a short pass caught by Ryrie. There we go. Pickup of eight yards. Good job good. getting that uh, throw in there. It was almost on point. Ryrie. Oh, yeah. Have to and move all that much. It was right in. Her and good path. move of stepping out that end zone, knowing that you know if things turn south, at least you're not in your end zone anymore. Yeah, I safety. think she saw, she saw the color of the end zone. She's like, oh no, gotta get out. No, of no, here. no, 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 no. That's, that's no man's land. <laughs> we don't want to go there. Not where I want to be. Yeah, good even, move there by Kate. Uh, the okay, snaps the ball, rolls left. Back there. Looking for an open receivers. Goes back to the right. Oh. And it's caught, but by Ray Roberts, so it's a pick, and he nice. gets tackled. Very good nice cut pick there. there. You gotta, yep. you gotta, you gotta imagine: Are Ray Robert and uh, Kay sitting in different rooms at this point? Because if not, I Ray know. knows what they're calling. <laughs> I know, right? I, I just thought of that. I was like, wait a minute. I hope they're sitting in different rooms or something. <laughs> now Troy with the two running back scheme, you know, has just like we spoke earlier that they love so much with Raiden and then Ray to his left and Raiden to his right. Oh. Hands it off. No, nope. Troy snaps it, doesn't hand it off, he keeps it. Looking for open receiving the backfield to the left. There we go. Try that again. Tang, but, but that's clearly out of bounds. Yeah, that was a little a little too far. A little too far, but it was a good thing, Gingo. It was open it up again. Bulldogs will really have to do something about that far corner. Whoever the safety, I think it's Rhino, will really have to yeah. his man a little Looks better. Looks like they switched to the prevent defense now. Which is uh, more common now. Troy Work, snaps, works rolls against, right. Uh, throwing teams. Rolls left, doesn't really find any open players at this point. And might decide to run it, actually, if he can just get rid of that Ethan. Oh, and then he checks it to the right. Dwayne. Oh, Two receivers. Oh, Ryden. <laughs> I think it was intended for Dwayne, who was just <laughs> Ryan, standing there. Ryan but then Ryden sweeped up under it and said, nope, mine. A touchdown. Well, they were both sitting there wide open. I don't know yeah, how you, uh, totally. leave them both sitting there wide open with uh, it was the best six call people that in coverage. Could have made. I... Really, yeah. And the kick is good, so now this is a lead 14-0 to zero for the Titans, so Bulldogs really want to come out strong in this drive and have to at least get in field goal range and put some points on the board, you know, not to let the momentum really slip away. Yeah, they need to, they need to start something here. They can't uh, keep giving the ball back to the Titans, especially in as good I... field position as they've had both drives. They yeah. haven't started. Both the sacks are issues, and the turnovers are issues. Yeah, That's both Titans, both yeah, Titans I... drives both started inside the Bulldogs' territories. Definitely don't want that. Kicking off to the opposite side, but it's a touchback. So the Bulldogs will start at their own 20. Oh, and now Ryrie back. Yep, they're going back, back to position back to Kay's right. Yep. Let's see if they do some handoffs, which I would honestly suggest at this point. Yeah. Could mix things up and oh, fake handoff. Kay has it. Uh oh, falling back and move. Oh, oh, she, she went into again. the she went into the throwing animation, but didn't get it off in time. Pit boss. Yep. This time it's Pit Boss who got her. I think it was a missed handoff, honestly. I'm not sure, but they looked like they thumped and then It, it looked Kay like didn't they really... wanted it to. Yeah, I don't know, but Kay then suddenly had to fall back. It's like she didn't expect it to have it again, so and then let's see she can Oh, roll right nice. Roll, there we go. Get some yard. Get out of there. There we go. There's a breathing room, but still third and thirteen still. 
short and long, but at least, you know, you're not so deep in your end zone because when you have to fall back 10, 15 yards, that puts you in your end zone already. So now she's not too close to the end zone. I'm, she surprised, rolls right. I'm surprised they're not showing oh, up the crock a little bit more. Ooh. I don't know how neither of them caught that. That looked that was, right through a tight mandible dog. It was quite a dangerous pass, I must admit, but she had so much pressure, she had to get rid of it. Titans are doing a good job of pressuring her up front. She probably, yep, there we go, going for a punt, which I agree with completely. Punts and Troy receives the ball, rolls to his right, going right, and gets tackled by Rhino Red Star. And again, as you Starting as you inside Bulldog territory. Exactly what I'll mention. That's exactly what the Titans want. It's not exactly what the Bulldogs would like, but have to readjust their things in order to stop the that offense. So they're going with the trips left with Gunny, Tam, Tame, and Raiden. On the that right side, you I... have Dwayne and Ray Robert. Troy snaps the ball. Left a little, and you have someone on the outside, which is catches it and runs out of bound. And just little likes that sideline. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's well, so he big, he just can't stop well. himself. <laughs> kind of stumbles well, out of so. bounds. Yeah, he's, he, he's good at getting open, but keep those feet in bounds. Take it down the sideline. But that's what Troy is telling him right now. <laughs> well, Troy snaps, goes right, looking for a few blocks. Maybe he wants to run it, or is looking for some open. And he's looking for a run. Nope, nope. He just decided not to run. He's really oh, there we go. Deep, deep Wide open again. Right open, yep. Safety is over there. I don't know Biden either. that time was wide open. Yep, that left corner seems to cause trouble for the Bulldogs and seem to... Like the Titans have... The Titans. Uh, yeah, the Titans have noticed have the weakness. Eye. Yeah, the Titans have noticed yeah. the weakness and they're picking on it. Yep, they're reading it. Pick now, it's 21 to 0, and we're still in the first quarter with 2 minutes and 2 seconds to go. So, Bulldogs really have to turn things around and, I don't know, switch up people on defense or. Now they switch up to prevent, so that might help against a, such a passing team. They like they, rushed, they rushed four people on that last. Uh, on the last touchdown, so. Either of them should be working real quick, real good though. And Nephilim kicks deep left, and it's caught by Rhino. Rhino looking for some blocks up there, and he gets tackled at 25. Better than the 20. Yep. Well, so far it's been <laughs> 20 or 25, 20, 25. That's a bit. That's been the kick return so far for the Bulldogs. Yep, same lineup with the trips left. Let's see what it does. Oh, she rolls to the left because she got her block there, but. Oh, now pressure. Oh, nice. Oh, no, Dwayne just. That's right that. in front of that one. Yep, said no, no. He read that perfectly. Exactly. Throw was maybe a little under the receiver also, and he had it. Great reaction time. Now Titans back on offense on the. 30 yard line of the Bulldogs. Down set hike. Troy snaps the ball, rolls left. Goes up, oh, and that deep left side again. Left again. Oh, wide open Nephilim. At least they got a good tackle, good stop there. Way to at least, you know. Yep, it's hard, to score, damage. it's hard to score on the goal line. Looks like the Bulldogs are going to pull out the goal line formation. Don't see very many people use that, even on. I don't know, I guess it depends on, you know, what everyone practices and stuff. Let's see what Troy does now. He put the trips, you know, to the to the right side, which has more room. And it's a short pass to Ray Raiden. And Raiden just walks it in as he got the blocks from his two other receivers. And that was well a design screen. Everybody's like, okay, block yep. these two and I'm going to... Exactly. And you're on the first yard line, you know, you're in your first yard line, so you know almost anywhere in the end zone is, like, yeah. <laughs> blockable, you yeah, know, like... at this point, or almost. Yep. So, at this point, if your two receivers can catch the blocks they need, the screen will just walk it in like they did. So, we'll execute it by the Titans. Yep, the Titans are definitely showing that they are have been together 
almost read. Oh yeah, they're here to compete. That's for sure. Uh, why Bulldog. does it say Bulldogs has six? Oh, I guess it's a... <laughs> the last ball carrier scores on the 65-yard touchdown play. Hmm. Not so sure about that one. No, I guess it's just a field glitch. They'll fix that quickly, yeah, I'm sure. Must have hit the wrong... are, are you still seeing the uh, coin toss coin on the... Nope, that's just you. Did you take your meds, bud? Yeah. Okay, take some more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, third wheel. That was... <laughs> Thank you, Dex. <laughs> So let's see, yeah, exactly. The points have been removed. They put it to 27? Should that be 28? Should be 28. Yeah, they'll fix that. And we had issues as well earlier in our game, so... Hold on just for a second. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's not really anybody's fault. The SL's been having uh, issues. Yeah, either SL or just the field itself. Uh, that at least not voice, to cooperate. At least voice is working at the moment. <laughs> I I, I like kinda... the gestures. I like the downside like gestures. It was kind of, and the kick is good. So we're gonna. I go I just I just noticed uh, Ethan's jersey. If you look at the back of it, on what it's. <laughs> KFC. Yeah, he's always wearing a KFC bucket, so I <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Gunny seems to want to aim it to the right this time. They've had a couple touchbacks, so kickoffs have been successful on the Titans' part. And it's going to be a deep kickoff to the right. Let's see if Bizarrely or Rhino can... Oh, Bizarrely gets it. Waits for a couple of his blockers. Tries to juke. On the 30s. Best starting 32. field this year, 32 yards. That's the best so far. Moving as on. As you keep improving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as long as you keep improving, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you can start with touchbacks at the 20 as long as you, you know, start to catch those balls, start to run it up to get some yards, and that's good. Trips right now. Yeah, set. Hey. Hey, just runs it up the middle for a gain of two yards. That looked like I was surprised it was in a. Sides called or uh, false start called on that one. Oh, I don't know if that was exactly yeah, planned yeah. because I know Bert ran right to the right and came. Up. Well, K snaps it, wants to roll to the right, but Pipos was right there and then right on now. And then, oh, it's a pass and it's caught by Rhino. Very good catch there. Again, a 10 yard. There's a first down. The pressure, Pipos was coming and Rayon was trying to close the gap on. On K, or D line is doing a really good job pressuring K. But very good catch, very good throw there to the yeah, middle. Okay. She had two receivers, that so was good. K snaps the ball, rolls right. Gets some blocks, but still has pressure oh! and gets sacked. By Rayon. Sand. Loss of 16. I think that's what been hurting them the most is they can actually do some good plays. They get some nice. You know, yardage for run, they get some nice passes as well, but as soon as they get one or two decent plays making the chains go up, then they fall back uh, 15 or 16 because she's sacked, so that's what's been really hurting on them. Yeah, that's yeah, been biting them in the butt here and there. Get that fixed, and the Titans don't rush hardly anybody. Only had like two or three. Yeah, I guess they're really, like, understanding the fact that, like, so far they didn't run much. So I think that because they're, they're reading the pass so well, I think they just want to get a pick, basically. That's what they're doing. Down on 20. Yep. She does. She snaps the ball, rolls right, looking for an opening. Oh, maybe those two people Three right there. Oh, throw. it's deep. And it's intercepted. It looked like It looked like whoever had the green on out there, maybe. Rhino looked like he undercut it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, the Titans really uh, say, well, you know what we can do, guys? Instead of pressuring her, we just, like, up our coverage, and then we'll get more more interceptions, I think. You know, that's the way they're, they're trying to go, because they're getting turnovers so quickly and in such a good field position, too, that 
doesn't this give is, them a long drive the, to score. This is the first time that they're starting in their own um, field right now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm sad, Hike. And Troy snaps the ball, rolls right, and oh, Jukes, he has all day to run if he wants, but he chooses to pass to Dwayne. Yep, he had two receivers there. Dwayne cut, oh, almost cuts out of it. Would have got out of that stumble. He was gone. Good stop there. He got tackled by Ryrie. I think the Bulldogs are going to try to stick with that. The prevent? Yeah. Yeah, People are still getting open. Yeah. Just, Troy uh, snaps the ball, waits for a right. Oh. And they're doing a lot better on coverage so far, though. Probably going to run it if he doesn't. There we go. He runs it. Yep. Troy runs it, cuts. Oh. And that's going to be a near first down. That oh, was going to be a first down. If there, there was a positive from that play, it was there was excellent coverage by the Bulldogs. Yeah. Troy know, right? had no choice but to run that. Everybody was covered, and he just. Uh, and, and I he think that's. He, Troy is always a pass first quarterback. Like you saw, he'll, he'll run up to the line and then back out to try. Yeah, he'll give receiver. You know, he'll give his receivers some times to get open. But yeah, that, like you said, that's really what yeah, the Bulldogs yeah, want to do. You know, pressure him to force him to basically run it instead of throwing because the coverage is very good. Now they're they've done a small run, four yards, getting closer to the end zone though. But good yeah, stop by K. A, that was actually a tight end handoff. That was pretty effective, left. if I remember, against the Seahawks when they did that. So we'll see if that's effective also against the Bulldogs. We have a fullback set now with Pit Boss. Fullback. Yeah, I'm set, Hike. Troy snaps the ball, fakes the handoff to the tight end, tries to cut it in. Is it in? His, Is it not? His, his body was in. They should give that to him. Well, the referees are... I'm gonna, they'll, they'll sure, but... it. Yeah, I'm looking on the screen right now. Or the Titans will challenge it. Eh, I doubt that they'll even have to challenge it. Uh, then they're not the... going to. Oh yeah, he was across. Yeah, he had at least one or two. No, nope, just going. Yeah, I'm sad, Hike. Oh, they're just going for it. Okay. Troy snaps That's the ball. That's way over. Yeah, over throws a little. Coverage there on the Bulldogs. Down in inches. Or in inches, yep. Yeah. They try to run it through the middle, which I expect, but we'll see. So far, they've been really on on the pass, so. Yeah, but fourth and one this close. See. Or maybe another tight end hit. Uh. Troy runs to the right, and he has room to run it in. There we go. Another touchdown. So, pending the extra kick, it's going to be 35-0 to zero in that second quarter with six minutes left. Yeah, this game is getting really out of hand really quick. Still six minutes left to go before halftime, and it's 35-0. Uh, yeah, there's going to be, I think there's going to be plenty of subjects for the Bulldogs to talk about in that halftime. Well, yeah, know. the Bull, I expected the Bulldogs to come out and run. They got Ryrie, who's a pretty good running back. Uh, line is not half bad. I expect to run the, bo run the ball and uh, eat up some of this clock, but they're snappy, a quick, and going right to the path. They make adjustments for that second half. Gunny at the... Oh. Now that they're down left. by 35, they might feel like they need the pass to get back in the game. But yeah, it might cause interceptions. We'll see. Gunny to the deep left. Hey, catches the ball. Runs to the left, goes back outside, stumbled, and tackled on the 31-yard line. Not bad. Let's see if they can hold on to that ball and really, you know, have a successful drive and really bring it all the way down to the end zone, or at least close. So, you know, if anything, the Titans don't start on their their own turf, you know, for offense. 
Yeah, you 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 don't want to give them yeah, good field yeah. position again. Ball in your own territory doesn't help you at all. Oh, oh, nice! They just avoided all these linemen there. Good, good job. Basically made him over pursue a little, and then she cut right back in the middle and gained six. So that was a good play there. Once you see you have no opening, just make them over pursue to your size, and then you don't have the middle opening up. Dukes. Hey, snaps the ball, tries to go up the middle, but this time there's really no room, and she's running for her life at this point. Oh, a throw in the middle, but it was undercut by Gunny. Good interception there. Yeah, Great she lead. had a couple. She had a couple of her receivers out there, but uh, oh yeah, just but... read it better than they did. Yeah, the, well, the, yeah, the, I think the main one problem was the fact that she had three over. people in her face. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah she everyone was up in her face with their arms up, like mine. So basically, that's what that's what probably didn't help. You know, she yeah, couldn't. She had, she had big, much. three big beefy linemen in her face, so she had to kind of be like, "Nope." Yeah, save her life. I think that was the result of a bit of a panic, which I would have done the same, having those three D okay, linemen in front of okay. you. Troy snaps the ball, rolls left, doesn't have a block to his left, tries to. Oh, there you go, got the juke. Has to get rid of Ethan or make a deep pass. And a pass towards the middle. Great catch by Gunny. Almost gets the first down. I don't know if they're going to review that or not. It's uh, there's, close. There's a, gap, there's a gap between there. So. Yeah, but the body seemed close. But I guess the Titans aren't even going to bother. They're just going to snap it, I guess, with that advantage they have of 35-0 to zero so far. Yeah, the Bulldogs haven't been able to stop them so far. I no. take time out of the game. Yeah, like Exactly, so Troy snaps the ball, ro wants to roll to the left, but Rhino didn't get blocked, now he's blocked. Tries to find an open receiver downfield. Oh, wow, Ooh. in between four people, in between two Bulldogs and two Titans. Close. I could, that could have really gone either way. There were I know, right? plenty of people there that could have caught it, and nobody wanted it. Like it was The ball was on fire or something, nobody wanted to catch it. Third and one, let's see if they, you know, just go for the run and get that down. Roy snaps the ball, rolls to the right, has his block, and then he'll run. run it. There we go, yeah. Right. And then cuts back towards the middle, and then back out, and then, oh, gets tackled for a gain of nine. Yeah, I figured they probably just wanted to get it down, and then block as well. I think they've kept pretty much in that trips left formation so far. They haven't tried anything else because, you know, it has been successful. So why would you change yeah, something that's like... been working so well yep. since the beginning of the game? Troy snaps, rolls left, and that deep Open. left again. And Nephilim this time catches to the deep. There is people just not close enough, though. But the defense definitely getting better th on the Bulldogs. I think the Bulldogs are trying to leave a little room so that they can jump routes, but they're leaving way too much room in. Oh. Troy is those are, a those pretty are not the people you want to leave room no. with. You know? Troy There's... is an accurate passer. He's not going to throw balls behind people. so that. And you have very good receivers as well, so in, in some case, I'd probably want to try that, but in the case where you're playing a team that's probably, you know, ha a, a lot stronger in general than you are, I'd probably want to play them as close as possible and try to make those 50-50 balls, you know. Yeah. But we'll see if they yeah, that or just... And it's going to be a deep kick to the left, and that's a touchback. It, seems... it looked like Rhino caught it, but... I know, right? <laughs> it went right in between K and Rhino. Both were just standing there. They looked like they had it, but... I, I thought I saw Rhino go into the catch animation. That's why I was like, oh, Rhino's got... Never mind. <laughs> oh. Starting from their own 20, so far that hasn't really paid off, because... With the sacks, you know, you just keep falling yeah, back okay. more and more, so... They can... The block, there we go. That's a good run. That gets a first down. Good blocking there, nice... Yep. Maybe the communication, you know, is starting to get there where they're... Gonna get exactly who they need to block in order to... Make that you know the, those chain blocking where you know it just leads the path to a first down. Hopefully for the Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah. They've, been able, the ball. they've been able to get good, decent yards nice. running the ball. There you go. There you go. Green. Yeah, they're able to move the ball on the Titans running the ball, and they they just keep reverting back to the pass. So hopefully. They... 
ball, stop that clock, and uh, walk their way down the field. Yeah, and I think that at some point also, if the Bulldogs are able to establish that running game so well, then the Titans will really have, you know, to play the run, and then that might open up the passing game, you know. That's the way I think it's work for best for Bulldogs. Let's see what they do on this short gain needed in order to get it down. Yep, they go get that down. That's exactly what you needed to do. Picks up three. First down, two minutes and 25 seconds to go in the second quarter. Everyone has their timeouts, so... Still room One for... Two yeah, two minute warning also acting like there's another timeout, so... Oh, Ryrie now to the running back. Let's see if they try to do a handoff. Probably going to snap it right before the two-minute warning. Getting that? Oh, they not. just... They're not. They're just been, getting that. Next, would have been out if they snapped. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I mean, with two minutes and three timeouts, get some... Ooh... Sacked for a loss of six by Pit Boss. If you get some good plays forward, you know, in two minutes with three timeouts, you can definitely make a good drive. But you want to go forward, not backwards. Yeah, you, so. you, you want to go forward. So going backwards kind of... But at least, you know, in this case, it's a six-yard loss. Not, you know, not, not nothing you'd want, but at least it's far from the 16-yard loss previously they felt, so... Stepping it up. We'll see what Kay decides to do is the time still... Picking. Right. Gets back in the middle. Cuts back to the outside. He's really looking for a pass on this one, I think. Got Here we the go. Numbers game and down that's there. a pass, and bizarrely caught that. And it's an almost first down. It's third and one. They kind of had it flooded over there. It looked like three Bulldogs and uh, one Titan back there. I think it was Ryan yeah. and Titan. He was, out, he was back there all by himself. And, uh, Hard play, yeah, exactly. Bulldogs if you kinda... can't beat him one-on-one, -on -one, then flood some sides, you know? Do whatever you got to do to get some... Completed pass and some first downs. Okay, Robert rolls to the left, looking for a pass cross. Wow, nice cross pass. Bizarrely catches it. He's gonna want to run out of bounds. There we go. <laughs> Good job. I must have heard you. <laughs> I know, right? Am I echoing through the other sim? <laughs> but that's the that's the smart thing to do. Good job there on the Bulldogs. Yeah, so 43 to, seconds left. Now. Yeah, exactly. Smart passes, good runs. Or good runs are good to establish ball and those get some momentum here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what they need. They can get some more. Snaps the ball, rolls right. It's looking for an open receiver. Oh, nicely caught by Bizarly, who's going to become, I think, the go-to guy in this game, just like he did previously in the Cobras game. So yeah, now they, they're they, uh, they all the way to the 15 yard line of the Titans. That's that's great. Yeah, they haven't even uh, thrown it to him up until this drive. Really, it's been Rhino's Rhino and uh, Ryrie have caught their own. Maybe they kept him as a secret weapon. <laughs> <laughs> so 30 right. seconds left to go. Still three timeouts. I hope they, you know, don't hesitate to take those if they need them. Like they just took one. Oh, there you go. They have two timeouts left. Yeah, there you go. That's smart. Hesitate to take him, talk it over, get a good play going. Our line, you still got two timeouts, so they have a very good chance to score. All right, we're good to go. Yep, it's kind of a do it not need a... They need to score. Yeah, they do not year. need a turnover right now. <clears throat> no, sorry. They do. Balls in play. Yeah. I'd probably try to run it. He snaps the ball, rolls left. She has some pressure from Nephilim and Ethan. Oh, Ethan coming to the rescue. Pass, and it's picked. picked. Off. It looked like her uh, receiver, whoever that was, might have been bizarrely cut back instead of going forward, and it read that. Certainly not what you wanted if you were a bulldog, but at least, you know, it's not, you know, all negative. I mean, look at how far they made it. It's very positive compared to all the other yeah, drives that they had, so at least, you know, it's improvement. They know, they know now that they can move the ball in this type of team. Yeah, just a little bit, you know, Fine boosting up the confidence. Yep. Yeah, you know, good. look at Troy now. He's all the way into the end, end zone, and he's going to run forward. Good move there to just get out of there. Picks up four yards. Unless they might, you know, they might just let the they time run out. Let the time run out, maybe. Yeah, probably you didn't just go to the locker room. Still 42-0 to zero at this point, so. 
they feel the need to rush in a, a play, that, you know, and just toss that, it up. That is halftime, and started here, we'll tell you about Blueberry. Blueberry is an original clothing store for women, made by a woman with passion for art. And this game is also brought to you by Blueberry. Blueberry is just awesome. <laughs> and there's also one of our great sponsors is Simply Epic. Your one-stop shop for all your sports fan gear, be it football, baseball, basketball, or hockey, we have your team. Jerseys, hoodies, gotcha, and more. Don't see your favorite player or college team? Contact Sir Nobolo, wink wink, or Nakari <laughs> Tolson, and they will get you hooked up in simply epic fashion. While we're at it, we'll tell you about it's girls and fellas. Need to surprise your friend with a res day gift? Need something extra to make your proposal proposal extra special? Or are you opening your own club or mall? Maybe you just want to entertain and have some fun. Then why not hire the it's Girls and Fellas, a professional dance troupe that always has fresh ideas for the perfect moment and regular off-Broadway shows at our beautiful theater in Second Life. Contact Winsong Charming or Carabella Valise for details. And uh, on that note, we will pass you guys off to the lovely cheerleaders. It's going to be the Titans Angels and the Blue Alley Cats. You guys enjoy that, and we will see you.
Welcome back uh, from that halftime. Great job there on the Titans cheerleader. That was very awesome. Unfortunately, I guess Alley Cats has some technical issues, but we're going to go on with our sponsors. So, Glamorous was first established in December of 2013 and I had and had its relaunch in April 2014, bringing poses from couples, adult, friends, kids, families, singles, gotchas, props and much more. Glamorous and we also have another one of our sponsors, which is Rain Shoe Shoe Shoes. Rain is the go-to store of a woman with many styles. We have a variety of shoes and accessories to fit any occasion. We strive to make sure that everyone can find something that suits them. Rain. All right, while we wait for them to get ready, we got two more uh, sponsors here. We got Bee Fly. Fly Tattoos has been creating the SL for over five years and is well known for their quality of work and customer service. With over 100 tattoos in store for both men and women, custom tattoos made to order, you are sure to find a design that suits your style. All tattoos come with the latest suppliers for mesh bodies for both men and women, come in two tones, and have a vast range from the very delicate to the over-the-top full-body designs from abstract or oriental from old school to new school or custom-made. B-Fly tattoos have you inked. And Femeshed. Femeshed is a monthly event that opens on the first of every month. Every month we provide top quality original mesh designers to help fill your needs for fashion and garden designers. We aim to provide the best of the best for the shoppers in Second Life. It is Femeshed. Apparently I can't count because I thought there were six. <laughs> well, I'm happy you went with the Femesh one because I must admit, the first time I did commentator, I think it's season one, I think I might have you called them Femesh? Fame Shed. Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> Might have done okay. something like that in the EFL for season content. Half, so, half the I'm times sorry. I commentated last year, I called them Fem Femesh. Oh yeah, I can work on that. See, if someone would have wrote that like Femesh, then I could have got that, but I totally went fame shed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that during, before season one, I think they actually had the era of Femesh come in and yeah, uh, okay. tell everybody how to say them. Yeah, probably they should teach us, you know, how to speak that. Exactly. Back to action, I guess. Missed out on that kick return. God, he's got room if they can get the that last guy. Box. Oh my god, they got it! Almost. They only had one guy to beat, and that one guy was I able know, to right? slow Troy down enough to uh, let the rest of the Bulldogs get in there and get the tackle. Well, great field position. They're not quite on the bulldog side, but closer than further than. Yeah, they're just about there. Yeah, it's not their worst starting field position. Can. Not at all. You can't be angry with that. The bulldog safeties are dropping back much deeper now, not allowing the big play, giving Titans everything underneath. I want to give up that big play. Yep, curious to see what adjustments they're, you know, they've talked yeah, through I... in that halftime. How much it pays off for them. The yeah, Bulldogs are doing a good job of skating the line, not allowing Troy uh, much room to run. They're not getting a whole lot of pressure on him, but they're in the line, not letting him run, forcing him to throw the ball, but not able to stop many of the passes. Yeah, kind of trying different things. It's good to see them uh, making adjustments. Uh oh, wide uh -oh. open. So I was like, uh oh, that safety almost got there in time. I think it was might have been Jigsy, maybe. I think so. Uh, I think you're right. Well, the safety almost got it over there in time, but not fast enough and. Close, but Gabriel, Gabriel was able to get in. Minute yep. and 20 into the second half, and it is 49 to nothing. Yep, that lead just keeps growing bigger. The gap just getting wider for the Bulldogs to close. Well, the Bulldogs right now need to focus on getting some momentum and getting some of their confidence back that they had after, uh, after their last week's game against the Cobras that they were able to walk away with a few. Need to get some of that confidence back and that swagger back and I uh, at least try and make <laughs> some plays. Yes, I just said swagger. Don't shoot. Down. Set, 
each of their own. <laughs> I did. I did my Justin Bieber impression. Oh, his with a good. And that's about average starting field position for the. I was about to say twenty five is pretty much as much you know as as far as they've got it about so far. This... Yeah, sometimes twenty, sometimes. Oh, they reach a 30, but yeah, generally it's 20, 25, 30. That's pretty much their range so far. Yeah, they switched up their line a little bit. They got Chimera Starship starting on. Uh, the, the, that Chimera Starship is either an alt or somebody that's rookie because they don't. <laughs> no. I oh. don't know. Well, K is technically not an alt. Yeah. For people to make. I think Jigsy did too, didn't he? That's. Oh. Oh. Yep. Um, yep. Or she back had back to there. take. Yeah, she had to get the. She just wanted to get that first down. Yep, and she had her receivers, you know, going deep enough, you know, to really get the pressure off the middle, having secondary busy back there. Way not to sell the run too early. I thought she was going to get picked. Oh, I thought, I thought Bizarrely picked that up for a second. That's close, but... So I was surprised she didn't get sacked. She had Pitt right in her face. Exactly. I, I think, think that's what's happening is that, you know, they're really been putting pressure up in her face and that's causing her to throw maybe a little early or, you know, not giving her the exact time she need or want to really aim that perfectly and then picked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Right. Oh, there you go. Good job, of good job of pursuit to... The outside, right? Yeah, you gotta cover that outside, because once you get gotta... there and you're not there, GG. They definitely gotta work on finishing their tackles, because there's been a couple times where they've stumbled somebody and let them get a... They're able to so break off the stumble. Yeah, I've seen that too. Picked. Nice! There we go. That's a good Something answer there, to that they, corner. They, they, they put Caden over there and uh, paid off. Paid off. Yep, good job there. Because that, that corner was like a go-to was... target by the quarterback. You know, they've done what, at least three, if not four touchdowns on that side at least. They, they favor that side, but now Caden well, is... Well, they favor uh, corners permanently, standing... like, period, because the right corner was the same thing, kind of, you know? So they it... favor, like, those sidelines. Yep. Now Caden is standing in her own in the end zone, which is not good. Probably even farther back, so... Uh, hopefully she does like Troy did earlier middle. and just runs, you know, a couple of yards forward and hopefully she gets a block or two in order to run a couple of, you know, just to get out of there. There we go, no. Good attempt, though, good attempt. I was surprised they didn't hand it off to Ryrie there. Well, considering, you know, there she's so deep into their own end zone, maybe they're pretty think that she's not gonna have time. So far they didn't really hand it off to her at all. I don't know if it's part of the game plan or something. Ooh, that's Oh, that's the safety. Is it? Yep, she was right on the goal line, which counts as yeah. Oh, really? Okay, that's the that's the rule. Because I was about to say she's like in between the one and the goal oh, line, so I don't know. Yeah, if, if kinda... you're if you're on the goal line, it counts as just like just just like if you're just like if you're on the uh, offense and you land oh. on the goal line, it counts as visitor team just challenged the result of the play. So we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna submit. To, it, uh, look, it looked uh, to me like bam. she was, in, she oh, was yeah. on the goal line. Yeah, she still at least had at least one foot in from what I can see in the replay there. She goes like step, and then she has step, boom. Mm. Oh, God. It's going to be a matter of inches. <laughs> I don't want to be a ref. <laughs> I want to be a ref. Really, yeah, I think, like, see the contact where shoulder, shoulder, bam, hits right there. I don't know. 
hard call. I guess it's a good challenge because it's the car. The call is so difficult to make that you know, you no, know, it could go. Yeah, but it has to be inclusive evidence. So it... Yeah, well, I, I mean, we have like... a you know we have a we have a <laughs> we good have, streamer. So we have our we'll master see. streamer over there. So exactly. Next, did you get a good sh chat? Oh yeah, right on it. I I don't have the stream opened up. Yep, replay is perfect for a referee to make the call. Although the play on the field stands the, you know, to safety. The camera is right there. It's still very difficult to see. Like, are you actually gonna call it when the uh, shoulder like the hits dogs, the other shoulder, or like when they're she goes sticking down? with it because the bulldogs are lining up? So loss of uh loss of a touchdown should be. Uh, loss of a timeout, my bad. Yes. <laughs> loss of a touchdown? <laughs> yep, so minus seven. 51 and minus seven at this point. No, I'm just kidding. From now loss on, the a... safety is the loss of a touchdown. Loss of a timeout, but we'll see if that has a big impact later in that fourth quarter, but honestly, I don't. I'm surprised to see both Ray sitting on the bench right now. But you gotta give everybody some playtime. Yeah, that's about yeah, that's what I was about to say. Just Titans like to have ro good rotations in and especially when you have uh -oh. a big lead. Oh, uh -oh. God. oh he's god, god, he's gone. Oh god. And you know, especially with a big lead like that, why not? But people try different positions at some point or whatever. And that touchdown will also put into play the uh, mercy rules. Clock will not stop once they. I don't know. Does it stop for kickoffs? I think it does, but it... oh, it does not. Okay. I think it's after like change of possession or whatever. Yeah, once the possession changes. I think. So four minutes forty-one to the third quarter, and then we'll be in mercy rule effective as of this kick. Good, good or bad, actually. Could also watch out for the two point. Well, I mean, yes, it is something that you know could happen, but I, the Titans, I haven't seen them do that so much, so I wouldn't expect them to go with two points conversion when they have such a big lead already. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to rub salt in the wound. You're up big. And it's really, the, I just uh, don't think it's the Titan style, honestly. I mean, they're just, you know, go for their seven points, go back, go back yeah. to their seven points, yeah. you know, just back and forth like that. Yeah, because if you miss a two-point conversion, then you lose out on a point. Could be a big deal towards the end of the season. Oh. Two-ish. Close to their best field position on the kick. Down. No time, she just snaps the ball and rolls right. Oh, short pass. Oh, right on the foot of Bizarrely. Good a, attempt, little, a little on the throne, but he could have uh, came back a little bit for that thing. Play aggressive on that. But at least you know it's it's still a like a yeah. good play. It didn't it didn't yeah complete, it wasn't it, didn't, it wasn't but it's not it wasn't dangerous. An interception, so it was, yeah. yeah, exactly. It wasn't it was a, a dangerous play. Throw. It could have worked pretty well. Just gotta connect. That's all. Got a receiver deep. That wasn't yellow. Had her uh, corner beaten. Oh yeah, there, there you go. Yellow, there. go for yellow. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who it was yellow, but I think it's yeah. Alex Graves is yellow. But instead got sacked. But yeah, yellow really did a good move there. If yeah, he kind of did, even a, there kind did a stop and go, and the the cornerback came over, and then he went up and <laughs> ow, and that didn't work. Ran right yeah. into pit boss there, going the wrong way. Fourth down and thirty one. Pit boss just pierced right through that line. Down the I think the Bulldogs would like take some time off the clock. Smart they're, kick they're there. Quick. Smart kick because Troy was back there, but the Titans didn't have time to get a second person back there. So it's all the way to the five yard line. And even. So that's a very good punt. Get him. <laughs> oh, 
stumbled. See if he can break out of it. Yep, he did. But he's knocked at his own uh, 15. They Great had a, job. Yeah, they had him boxed up back there. Getting out of the stumble that didn't help a whole lot because the. Very effective, you know, they were very quick. They saw, oh, there's only Troy. He's in the middle. Let's kick it right. He's not going to be able to catch that right away. Very effective punt. That's the yeah, worst field position ever for Titans. Yeah, their worst field position of the day. Their own 15 yard line. See if they can uh, work the field here. Honestly, with the fact, you know, that they've been playing so well, I don't think that they're going to have such issues going down the field. But at least, you know, it's a good, it's a good punt for the Bulldogs. Had had ride in along the sideline in the perfect position over the uh, cornerback and just uh, safety right in between. There. That's like the weak weak area on most teams. If you yeah, those transition okay. zones where you know the CB has to let go and safety has to pick in there it can be you know that window if it stays open too long and you got a good speed that can pass her accurately, it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem. Ended for riding there. Said hike. Uh oh. Gotcha. He had the momentum. He caught that in stride and was going. And uh, good job by uh, get over there and bent that touchdown. Yep, good catch. Good pickup of twenty nine. They're really going big chunks at a time now. I don't yeah, know the, if Bulldog, the Bulldogs haven't really been able to stop the pass, so they're just backing up and yeah, trying to get the one of their talented. Bumbo! Oh, Bulldogs get it! Oh, they picked it up. Bulldogs got it back, so maybe some uh, good I'm luck agreed. on the Bulldogs side. Yeah. Time to breathe. Yeah. Way to go there. Good read on Busily. That fumble kind of happened in a good time for them. I don't know if they're going to call ball start on that. There was a lot of movement before. Ouch. And didn't do much. Lost but this, team. This is, definitely, this is definitely a different Titans team than Last season, they were a run-first pass, if you could, <laughs> team. Now they're pass-first and uh, run if you absolutely have to. I honestly think with that... With Troy back there. Yeah, Troy is definitely more, you know, definitely likes to pass. But I think really the Titans are situ situational team, meaning that they're they're going to adjust to who they have in front of them. So if they're playing the they, Bucks, if they're playing the Seahawks, if they're playing the, you know, Raiders or, you know, the, those it top... On second down. Yep, I guess so. Doesn't want to take any chance. It's different. I don't know what the. I don't know what the thinking was there. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they read it wrong. Another I don't know. safety. Oh, yeah, sure that they were pretty far back. And yeah, as I was saying, Titans are a situational team. So I think against maybe the the stronger team, they'll go back to their running routes a little bit more. But then against the team that they feel like the receivers have the edge on the secondary, then they'll they'll go for pass more. At least that's how I feel about the Titans. They're really football smart. They're going to analyze who they have in front of them and play accordingly, too. Yeah, they'll, they'll watch tape on who they're playing. Yeah, if they're playing. Oh, yeah. One of the top two or three teams. Will... No doubt. They'll do yeah. the run. There you go. You got Ray Robert all the way. Ooh. Touchdown. No, nope, oh, out, out of bounds. In the white. You have to tippy toe that right in the green. But but even against the even against the better teams, I think this year the Titans stand a better chance against throwing teams. They have much better receivers that they brought in to help them out with team Ray and. Uh, oh, definitely, yeah. Their passing game has went up. That's for sure. It definitely improved. Now they they can throw the ball. Like last year, they had trouble throwing the ball. They they always have that threat now. Go for that corner again. Go for the deep corner, and there you go. Yep. Hey, it was yeah, Tames has just far, been eating just... them up on that left side Damn. all day. That corner.
I think what he does is basically he brings the safety, I think in this case it's K, he brings her towards the middle, and then BAM! Cuts back outside, gets a few steps ahead of her, and then the pass is gonna be good, you know? He's not, he's not gonna drop that open, so... Good way to... Line up changes. Getting on the, the beating. Five to nothing now. Is the fourth quarter, I believe, yes. Yeah, with the mercy roll, you know. I'm just go go. Still trying. We gotta. Oh. Uh, Rhino decides not to run it out and takes it out of the end zone. Count it as the safety, but it should. Yeah, it will be. This nice run and apparently an eight yard run is first down. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Good football. Gosh, Eric, keep up with this. Oh, first downs are eight yards, not ten anymore. Yeah, in between eight to ten, you know. Whatever you like. Get in the general vicinity is first down. Down to set. Uh oh. Oh, Bat it down. I was about to say she's gonna get done. Back, but... Yep. It looked like it was that defensive guy was coming. Troy, it was Troy that got in there and knocked. It. Play. That new ball, you don't really, you know, it's not really favoring the quarterbacks. You know, they don't have yeah, that it's... room to throw when they have someone right up in their face. That. Just doesn't work anymore. I think a lot of quarterbacks have to readjust according to that. New yeah, because you have that slight delay where you uh where you go into the throw animation, delays you quite a bit, messing up and... quite a few quarterbacks. I know Gooch likes to complain about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all about adapting. I think you know at least yeah, you once, know it's fair for everyone. Get... Everyone plays with the same ball. It's just you know yeah. You once gotta... you get used to it, it's some people get to work your way around it. it. Oh, nice jukes there. She avoided those two linemen and bam. Close to a first down, but yep. they were still working the field. Right? They've shown that they can move the ball. This Titans team is able to capitalize on the chances that they get. Yeah, I think if they would have stuck to the ground a little bit, a little bit more, the score would have been not, you know, not what it is right now. That's for sure. He could cut, yeah, could cut. Caden's breaking off a lot of nice runs, picking up seven, eight, nine, ten yards at a time, and. Uh, Doing that all game, this might have been a lot closer. That's exactly what, yeah, the Bulldogs need to do, I think, you know. And like you said, if they would have done that from the start, I think it would have been a lot more successful on their part. Right, so. Oh, on let's one, see, two, two on, on one. one. Yes, they, oh no, he oh, stepped out of bounds. That would have been a touchdown if he kept it. <laughs> yeah, well, let's find at least, oh, it does it, no, it doesn't stop the clock. Don't. <laughs> no, yep. yeah, going out of bounds doesn't stop the clock now. Yeah, not anymore. Good catch, though. Great throw. Two on one, you know, the odds were there. Biz came out with the catch, so that was a good play. Let's see, they try to run it in now. Oh, left, right, left, right. Oh, Never. oh, just ahead of him. Good attempt. Missed it there. Good attempt. Yeah. Good, good, good choice though to throw it to him. He was. Happy. That was a, yeah. Maybe. That was the, your best choice, definitely there. They can do with the trips on the left. Ring clock still yeah. up. Oh, and knocks it down. Out of down. I'm Third not sure. I think she. I think she was aiming towards the middle. I'm. I'm. I'm not sure who her receivers were. She had a couple of them lined up over there. Possible, but 
I mean, Goku her, got his hands up and blocked. Her line got a few blocks. I'd probably tell her just to run it, you know. In two attempts, she she can probably make those four yards. She's been getting, you know, in between sixty, eleven yards almost every single run she has done so far. So I think she. Yeah, can but it's a little a that. little harder when you get down into this area because you got so many more people. Even the cornerbacks and safeties are close to the lines. So you're able to adjust and come up and. Uh, I agree. Then you gotta I guess see if your cornerbacks and your safeties There's do your same. job. Boom! Touchdown. No? That's a touchdown. Yes. That's a touchdown. Yeah, that's she was, well, she was well in. <laughs> see? Great job. I think she's listening. Gosh. Yeah, she was so uh, well. she was a good three or four yards into the end zone rolling down. Oh yeah, that's all she had to do. <laughs> Clock was temporarily paused. Nope. Oh, or they get not. <laughs> um no. Right here, and uh, that gives them that gives them some me some momentum to go into the next game. Not sure who they play next, but they... I'm sure they'll watch that next on tape game. and say, "Hey, you know what? We're pretty good at running the ball. I mean, we've done Maybe it we against should the do Titans. That more often. Yeah, exactly." <laughs> Down, said hi. Go. Well, at least it's a way to end on a high on a higher note than you know whatever was going on previously. Uh, that'll probably end the game. I don't know. I think they're probably just gonna let it slide at this point. You, know? you really want to give them the ball again? They've returned at least once the t you know the kick for a touchdown, haven't they? I yep, probably wouldn't. Did the once. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to kick it either, honestly. Well, since we we got the game over first, uh, but a business. Who would you pick as the player of the game? Honestly, it's very difficult. I mean, I try not. To want to you know lean towards the quarterback, even though we all know they have you know the most effect on a game usually. Yeah, but uh, I'd probably he's... go with tamed. I'd probably go with tamed with all the corner catches that he got. <laughs> yeah, he had he had quite a few. Yeah, it's for me. It's between him and uh, him and Troy. Let's get Dexter in here. Let's get a third opinion. Dexter, <laughs> what's your opinion? That's okay. We can we can pass your little. On well, the meanwhile, I guess we can end on the on a high note ourselves and go with the last two sponsors we have here, which is uh, Logolepsy. As a fascination or obsession with words, Logolepsy is bringing your favorite quotes and song lyrics to SL in a new artistic way. Logolepsy also makes posters, flyers, and invitations for your next big event. I'll tell you about VR Sporting Goods. From custom gloves to standard gloves, face paints, and more, VR Sporting Goods has football gear for your next big game in the UFL. VR Sporting Goods. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us in this great game. The score ended 64, 65 for the Titans and 7 for the Bulldogs for Week 3 game. We'll see you tomorrow for the two upcoming games that we have. Have a good one. I'm getting, uh... Oh, are you here? Oh, uh, yeah, player of the game. Refs, refs, refs are getting in my box. Uh-oh. Their opinion is. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, well, you kind of would be the tiebreaker. Who do you think? Was it Gunny or was it Troy that had the run back? I thought it was Troy. I thought it was Troy. Troy caught pretty much every single ball that he kicked in there. I the pink sleeves with the... No, pink sleeves... Uh, Nephilim Gunny definitely had some pink panther sleeves there. <laughs> Letter pink, then that was Troy. Yeah, that was Troy. Troy received most kicks. All right, we'll go. We'll go with Tame as player of the game then, and uh, and your next game. We got two doubleheader tomorrow. We got the Raiders against the Huskies uh, at 4 p.m. SL team. And then we got the Mustangs at the King Cobras. The Mustangs coming off that big win, of course, last week against the Raiders. And the Raker Raiders looking to bounce back, playing the Huskies. So we'll see uh, how those games turn out. I'll definitely be tuning. Not sure who the tickets people.
via Facebook. As far as me, Ricky, and Dex, all we got. Have a good night.